and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to go over the top players that you need right now in Madden 20 Ultimate Team. Now, I was going to make this list 10 people, right? Because I feel like that's the cliche. Top 10 players. But I was going through, and I truthfully couldn't find 10 players that I think you needed long term. Now, this is the other thing about this video list. It's not just players you need right now. It's players that you can use all year. So, people have been asking me, right? They were like, you know, we know what players right now, right? Like, obviously, let's say David DeCastro was the best right guard right now. And two tall Jones best left end, but like, can you count those cards to be there for months? Like, you know, you want to be efficient with your coins. Let's say right now, they drop a flashback, Tim Tebow, a million coins, best quarterback in the game, 93 overall. Is it worth that Tim Tebow for a million coins? Or are you better off waiting for the Vic next month that you can use for the rest of the year? Let's just say, right? So you have to have that, you have to have that thought process. Like, do you want to go all in on cards now that might not get upgrades again for your power up chain? So that's the point. So this is gonna be a list of cards that you can have now, from now to the day this game dies in my opinion now number eight is going to be a little controversial the, the, I'm, I'm, i have a list of eight though i didn't want to drag it 10 because i could, literally could not find two players that i thought like you could get now good price you could have them all year i did just wasn't more people so i didn't want to drag the list and give you guys false information but number eight's gonna be a little controversial i'll give you guys reasoning why i think he's gonna be the best one because it's been long overdue and well not the best one one of the best ones that you could use all year but guys before we get into this video, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, come join the family, boys. I appreciate each and every one of you that come join every day. There's minimum at least like 50 of you that come join a day, and I appreciate all of you. Comment down below anything you have against this list or anyone I should have added to this list or a reason why someone should be not be on this list. I like always hearing your opinions. Just be nice about it. Some of you guys get really like angry about this. Like, just give some constructive criticism. And also give the video a big thumbs up, boys. If you're loyal, you're an OG to the fan of the channel. Make sure to always give the channel a big thumbs up. Great, I greatly appreciate each and every one of you that liked the video. So it keeps the channel growing, boys. And now, let's get into this video. So I actually do have a variation of every card on this list in my binder, which is kind of why, like, I can advocate for these cards because I personally have had them all year. So I'm going to start with number eight. Going to go through the binder. You guys should have seen this already because I did do a lineup update already for you guys. So number eight, a guy that you guys probably won't even think, Tyreek Hill. Now you're probably saying, right, plenty of guys are fast. Plenty of you guys can do what he does, but you gotta think, right? Just think. He hasn't gotten a card all year. You know they're saving him for a banger. Now, would my predict? Probably a blitz promo. Unless Kansas City plays Thanksgiving this year, which I do not think they do, they're saving him for the blitz promo. Or the harvest promo, anyways. Now, let's compare him to the fastest guy in the game right now. McCole Hardman. His teammate so they're jumping similar his catching is better his route running slightly better these cards are pretty similar right minus the speed so imagine that's only an 87 overall and that's easy though those stats what do you think they're gonna give a 93 Tyree kills card 93 Tyree kill card you might have a 95 speed quite honestly you might have 95 speed he's gonna have about 90 jumping 85 catching stats across the board 85 route running crowds across the board the next card it's gonna be insane and guess what once he gets that card he's gonna be the fastest guy in the game he's gonna get some cool abilities everyone's gonna want him and then to make it even better his abilities he might get like evasive or maybe not he might get just some really cool abilities for his style of receiver and to make it even better guess what after that we're gonna have a tyree kill finally in the game everyone loves using tyree kill tyree kill is a big fan favorite and to make it even better than that we know he's gonna get some type of team of the year card possibly but he was hurt so maybe he won't but he's gonna get some more end year cards that you're gonna have all year because then once he has that 99 speed he's gonna be a guy that you want to use all year most people use tyree kill all year so i know you guys are gonna be super excited for that so that's why i'm rocking with him i have two of him one of them for my level up pack and this power up's only 40k if you guys want to you could power him up all the way for under 60k actually scratch that if you bought the pack for leveling up you could do all that for under like 50k so just letting you guys know now's the time to power up tyree kill power up now before it's too late and before here because when his next car come out that power up's gonna be over if he's 95 speed the next card's gonna be crazy expensive all right that was a little bit next on the list michael vick i passed him michael vick so the reasoning behind michael vick now lamar jackson at this moment is better but here's the here's the issue why i don't put lamar long term first off lamar needs a power up. until lamar gets a power up i can't advocate for him on this list at all for the time being it is michael vick now we all know you guys might say that michael vick doesn't he sucks right now right but what is the trend every year? The first Michael Vick card is overpowered for about three weeks. Then he's not. 
because he can't pass and once people stop his running then he can't pass but then what happens right he gets his second card and that card breaks the game it's it's a, it's a, guys come on how do we not know this routine already first vic card breaks the game then he doesn't because people start knowing how to stop him and then he can't pass on you to, to counteract that but then the second vic card gets passing stats and he gets increased athleticism next vic card is going to have okay let's, let's upgrade him so you guys have an idea and remember these cards if you want to get them you don't have to get their highest overall you could do what i do like have him right here this is still a great card but look at this card this vic card right here to power up you just, at least you get the power up chain get him to 90 and then wait till you have a power pass for this vic or just wait you don't because like we have plenty of chance to get every card in this list and we're going to get more power passes as the season progresses look he's gonna have 89 speed 93 throw power with really hot with decently high passing stats his next card is going to be able to get threshold passing with like a 93 speed the next one's gonna break the game and i think that card could be coming around christmas so i'm just saying i I, ha I have mine ready i have mine ready to go as you guys can see i have all my legends ready to go and i'm not gonna answer some of them now because they're cool. they're some of them on the list but i have them ready to go and that's what you guys need to do because trust me when they come out they're gonna be great next one is brian dawkins another guy that again all these guys by the way are interchangeable you don't have to have their top power up you can power them up to their highest point before the full piece you please remember every card in this list can be power passed every card in this list can be obtained you can pull them you can buy them you know for the most part brian dawkins is going to be on this list guys because for now until we get a sean taylor no one is uplifting brian dawkins for quite a while he has a speed acceleration tackle play wreck combo with height, with pursuit, with the zone, with hit power. Let me tell me a guy that could play lockdown coverage while hitting like a truck with speed and with height. You, you can't, it's, it's hard. Only one is probably Pat Tillman. Pat Tillman's our free and he's strong safe, so it doesn't matter. All right, so I'm not gonna go too much into him. Next on the list is Lawrence Taylor, guys, another guy. His stats are insane now. Wanna know what his stats look like? He's he's like a running back right now. Like, like so I see some speed of some running backs right now and he's an outside linebacker. His next card, right, is gonna be like a 96 overall powered up probably thanksgiving card probably 95 96 his next one's gonna have like a 90 speed a 93 acceleration but obviously you have to come up and everything he's gonna have like a 90 plus tackle 90 plus play rec a 90 plus power movement finesse movement a 90 plus block shed he's gonna be able to do everything he doesn't get to the line the club the quarterback crazy fast he's gonna chase down everyone i'm telling you that card's going to break the game same thing with lawrence taylor his first card's great his second card breaks the game michael vick first card great second card breaks the game i'm telling you guys want to have these cards in your team and remember i understand not everyone has the coins everyone's gonna have a power pass though but lawrence taylor we have two of his power passes you can use you can you have, you're gonna get two of them from leveling up so you're gonna be able to get him easily and just have him ready to go because the last thing you want to do is wait till they have those cards or the power ups in the skyrocket obviously the legends might not be affected too much you can get them from the solo so remember you can always go back for that Next on the list is a guy that I've been rocking with since day one, and I'm not changing many times. So it's George Kittle. Now, George Kittle, you look at his stats, right? This card by itself, without even getting his full card, is awesome. Now, let's look at his. Now, George Kittle's an end, an end year card. He's going to be all year on my team. Because look, this is his full card right now 86 speed and 83 run block power. And his run blocking in general, I believe, is an 85. So he has great run blocking, or maybe an 86 run blocking. Powered up, chemmed up, he's having an 86 run blocking with 86 speed. He's catching 92 85 run block chemed up 86 so his next card is going to probably have like an 88 run block which if you come up gets to a 90 and his next one's gonna have like an 88 speed or 90 speed in between there so think about it, you're gonna have a tight end with 90 speed just about with 90 run blocking 94 catching good impact blocking and good route running and good beat press come on guys it's, it's gg at that point think about it it's pretty much like putting a lineman, an extra lineman on the field that can also play the best tight end position on the field. Like best tight end in the game. It's it's unreal. His next card is going to break the game also. That's what I'm saying. You guys want to have all these guys ready to go. Now, Randy Moss, a guy that already breaks the game, but I honestly, I just can't afford his full card. Or I don't think it's, it's definitely worth it, but I don't want to use my power pass. But you guys have a power pass. This Randy Moss right here, his full card is obviously, I was not going to go into that, but a guy that I, I choose Randy Moss as a 91. I powered him up, got him to a 91 with, with power ups. Still has decent route running, still has good catching, still has good speed, still has good height. If you want to power up, you have your power pass to go. And obviously, Randy Moss, another endgame card. Trust me, his next card is going to be unreal. Because his next card is going to have every threshold done. Now, he's one he has like Tory Holt route running with catching of like Jesus Christ himself. And uh, he has like a 94 speed. So that's the next card that's going to break the game. Next on the list, Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald without the full card. You can get him here without getting his full card, um, the, the Redux version or the Limited Time version. Which with this card alone, powered up and chemmed up, when you chem up on the, on the team, he will have above 90 block shed, above 91 power move, above 90 player. He's all the thresholds you care about with decent athleticism and good strength. 
So pretty much right there alone, this Aaron Donald card's a beast. Now if you power him up, the next card's even better. And Aaron Donald's an end-year card for me. He hits every threshold I need already, which means that by the end, by year end, he's gonna have like all 99s, obviously. He's gonna be able to do crazy things because some cards are specified to certain things. He can do everything. He can finesse, power, block, shed, and play wreck. He can do it all. So it's just gonna both keep gradually increasing. Pretty much every card in this list is a guy that you can use now, you can use later. And you don't even have to get their full card. Their power up works awesome. And remember, if you can't afford them now, just get all their power ups like in the 91 and 90s. Because in a month or two, their cards will drop dramatically in price. Then you can pick them up. And also, you're going to have more power passes, more chances to pull them, more level up passes. And now, last on the list, these aren't exactly in the most specific order, but Deion Sanders. First off, who doesn't want Deion Sanders on their team? Come on, let's be honest. Deion Sanders, prime time himself. Everyone wants a prime time card on their team. So I had to go rock with prime time. I had to take him. And he just does so much, right? First off, guys, the 91 prime time without powering him up, awesome. Without getting this card, awesome. I'm telling you, I've been, he's been my starter on my team for like a month now. Awesome card, you can even rock with that one. That prime time made crazy catches for me. First off, his catch rating is above an 80. Which, what I learned from Madden this year is that if their catch rating is above an 80 for a defensive player, they get contested, crazy, like, Odell catches. I guess that's how the coding works for cornerbacks. But he does, he does amazing. I promise you guys can rock with Deion Sanders. So, first off, he's going to get a ton of, he's going to get a ton, force ton of turnovers. He's going to be able to stick with any player on the field. He's going to have lockdown coverage. And the thing about Deion's always been just jumping, right? He jumps every route because although he might not be in the best position, he's so fast, he's so agile, and... He can kick return and punt return, which gives you the offensive abilities. He gets crazy abilities. You can put return man on him, jukebox, a bunch of stuff. So he's going to be an offensive threat from punt and kick returns, which are huge because if you can score on that, that's huge. Also, when he catches interceptions, right? Like a guy like, let's say Kyle Fuller gets a pick, right? He's okay in the return game. He could go straight line. But you have a guy like Dion who at any moment can pick a ball and take it back to the house. That's awesome because let's say you're up 7-0 and you pick a guy off and take it back to the house. Now you're up 14-0 and he might quit. You're up 0 0 in a in defensive game. He scores. Could break the game wide open. I'm telling you, defensive touchdowns are huge. Deion Sanders is the king of those. I love him. I cannot wait for Weekend League to try him out. And guys, he's an end game card too. The next Deion is going to break the game also because the next Deion is going to probably be able to get close to 99 man in zone with like a 96 speed. That'll probably be like a blitz there, Thanksgiving Deion or maybe a Christmas Deion. But I'm telling you, the next Deion is going to break. Every, pretty much all these cards are on the verge of greatness. Every card I gave you is on the verge of greatness. Every card's next card is going to be overpowered as hell on top of how good they are now. And not to mention their power-ups are equally as good right now to be able to be used. But guys, that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Come join the family. Turn on the noti bell. And comment down below what you guys think I should have added to the list, who I should have taken off the list. If you guys agree, hope this helps you guys out. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Like I said, if you're loyal, if you're a supporter, always give the video a big thumbs up. Helps the channel out. Helps keep the Helps the grind continue, boys. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.